because this is MATD1544 and we're still busy finding values of certain functions and the functions we're looking now at are functions that is more than one period away from our four quadrants. So if we look at 19 pi over 6, um, they, it means they had to be revolutions because um, uh, 2 pi will give 12 pi over 6. I mean, if I have 12 pi over 6, that's how you must see also what, what is going on there. If we have 12 pi over 6, that will give us 2 pi. And 2 pi is 360 degrees as we, we did. Now, so if I have 19, it, it definitely means I have a revolution. So my first step, if I want to do these, these ones, and they, you, you are going to get this, so please try to make sure that you can do that. So the first thing is we look if it's even or uneven. Okay, so this is a sec which is even. That means I can just ignore the negative now. So my first step is going to be to write sec just 19 pi over 6. Okay, you're welcome to ask questions even if it is on the recording. Okay, so that's going to be my first step. Okay, so that's mark number one. All right, then I need to come back into the four quadrants. Okay, so that's going to be mark number two. So sec. And now I take 19 pi over 6 and I remove 2 pi from it. So go to my fraction mode. I'm going to do it with you here on the calculator that we can discuss it. So 19 pi over 6. And now I say minus 2 pi. And I see it is 7 pi over 6. So this becomes 7 pi over 6. Now, let's just go back there quickly. But please, rather do it in a safe way. But I mean, here, we said 2 pi should be 12 pi over 6. So therefore, we can see that, that it should be 7. 19 minus 12, it should be 7. Okay, but anyway, as long as you can get to your 90 privacy, because that's going to be your second mark. And then we need now to find the quadrant. Okay, now 7 pi over 6 is in the third quadrant. So there, sec is negative. So negative sec. And then your reference angle, which will be pi over 6. Pi over 6. So that is going to be the next mark. And then lastly, just the value now. Okay, now uh, pi over 6, if you want to think degrees, it's 30 degrees. Cos 30 degrees is square root 3 over 2, but sec is the reciprocal, so minus 2 over square root 3. But remember, this must be done from your triangles um, that you will have a, uh, with you always. You draw them, and also in a test or something, you draw them, and so on. So, this is going to be about two marks then, but we indicate it as half marks. Uh, uh, and that is how you will you will do um, something like this, which is really um, important for us to do all these steps, all the thinking that goes through here. Okay, let us do just another one. Let us maybe do the cut of let's do number eight in activity one eleven two. Okay, let's do this number eight. All right. So try and see if you can think with me. Ne? So we have cot 23. And this was, um, I will show you papers where this was in. Even the same one here. And also that sec one and so on and so on and so on. Okay, so that is what you must be able to do. Okay, there's no negative in here like number six or number seven that we should decide even or uneven. Maybe we'll also look at seven just to finalize it. But um, 
so I don't need that step now but I do need to come back into the four quadrant so I'm going to take my 23 over 4 23 pi oh, where's my pi button now 23 right 23 pi over 4 and then I minus 2 pi minus 2 pi that gives me 3 it's still more than 2 so minus 2 pi again minus 2 pi again and I see it is the cot of 7 pi over 4 that's inside now so this is the cod of 7 pi over 4 that's now inside the four quadrants so now I say okay where is 7 pi over 4 that uh, that is in the fourth quadrant because 8 pi over 4 8 pi over 4 will give me 2 pi so this is just before that so this must be in the fourth quadrant okay so this is in the fourth quadrant their cot is negative cot reference angle pi over 4 and just the value 1045 is 1 so it's going to be minus 1 so let's just do 7 also let's just do 7 also okay so coset is uneven so this minus must come to the front so it's cosec negative cosec 33 pi over 2 33 pi over 2 now come back into the quadrants so right so 33 pi over 2 33 pi over 2 right minus 2 pi Ooh, then I'm 14 minus 2 pi then I'm at 12 minus 2 pi then I'm at 10, minus 2 pi, minus 2 pi, carry on, minus 2 pi, just carry on, minus 2 pi, minus 2 pi. Okay, so you need to get back into um, the four, four quadrants. Okay, that is if you do it with a calculator, but let me just, let us just discuss this quickly. So remember 2 pi is a revolution. So 4 pi over 2 gives me um, a, a, a revolution. Okay, so I, I can work with 4 pi's there. So basically I can remove 8 revolutions there because an 8 will then be 32 8 revolutions okay because remember this is over 2 okay so um, if I multiply the 8 by, by 4 I will get 32 pi over 2 8 times 4 is 32 Remember, because this is without a calculator, so we must just be careful. So, so in other words, I'm going to remove 32 there, and I'm just going to have the one left, which is the 33rd one. So this is going to come back to minus cosec pi over 2. Okay, because 8 revolutions will bring me back to 32. And then I have 33 there, so there will be just one left. So minus cosec pi over 2, which will then be minus 1, because pi over 2 is 90 degrees, and sine 90 is 1.